What's up, everybody? This, of course, is Guns. This is One on Guns, Alternative Press Magazine. I'm stoked. Listen, I've known these guys for years. I'm so happy every time I see them. Of course, Kenny and Matt Watts. What's up? The starting line. Let's go, baby. Uh. What's up? Good to meet you, man. <laughs> how are you? Hello. How are you? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just played a show last night. I'm stoked because uh, you guys will be doing Webster Hall later this year. You got a couple of shows. Talk to me about this. How did this all... I mean, I'm stoked. We always see every every year. It's like our annual get-together for the holiday shows. But now there's a couple more shows going on. Well, our, our manager reminded us that we've been a band for 20 years. And I, I think, you know... And, and I think we want to find a way to really celebrate it with, you know, playing some, some fan favorites, but also sharing some stories with them as to what the songs are about. Um, you know, what it was like starting the band. What it was, what it was like making records and stuff like that and just really want the opportunity to share it with them um, so we're doing about 12 shows throughout the year and the first one was last night in Boston it was just you know for me personally it's fun hearing Kenny tell some of these stories about how certain songs were written what inspired them um, and it seems to be connecting with the fans as well it's wild because uh, I mean listen the starting line it's been a journey it's been a process it's been a lot you know a lot of ups some downs but uh, it's been a while though and I'm stoked you know what I mean like I know the fans and, and, and people appreciate that this is all happening once again you know yeah I mean our fans have been with us for a while they, they have to be because we're not doing anything that isn't you know three years old at this point so these people have been with us for a, a long time and uh, the longevity of this band is really something that, that amazes me more than anything and then also the loyalty of the fans and you know what the, what this means to other people you know feeds into the to the meaningfulness of the whole thing for me what was one of the um what was one of the hardest songs to remember how to play uh inspired by the dollar sign is tricky that's pretty tricky yeah oh, yeah that one's tricky um Cheek to Cheek, which is a song that we haven't played in forever. I don't want to say that one's tricky, but it was just sort of getting in the rhythm of, of playing it again and remembering, at least for me, like what parts went where, because the intro is a little bit different than, than what I play live um, on the record. Like two versions of it too. You had the uh, original oh, right. on the EP, yeah. and then you and then They're the pretty EP. close, like as far as structure goes, but it, it's still like um, we wrote songs kind of like a little bit more naive back then. So it was just, which is cool. I think that that's really sometimes where the greatest stuff is written is when you when you don't know better. What would you want to say about like looking back now that you're playing these songs or you know have to go back into the catalog? What tell us a story about like or what do you what do you want people to know like when you look back at that stuff? Like, like whether it was the writing at the time or like just like was it why like yeah. you should come to a show because we get real in depth with it. It's hard it's hard to sum it up in, in one because also like. How I've written throughout my life is just doing what sounds good to me. Like I never try to just be like um, the ideal version of what people want from me. I'd rather be the ideal version of myself that I that I would want to hear from someone else. I don't if that makes any sense. Um, so that's just always how I approach it. You know, just try to do it do better. Obviously, been going great. You also have vacationer. You're doing stuff on that. Congrats on that. Yeah. Thank you. Want to give a shout out to that? Tell people about it. I, I, you know, we're here for starting line, but okay. but yeah, listen to okay. listen to vacationer. There you go, check sure. out vacationer as well, <laughs> um, and then obviously in the start line and the, the tours are more shows coming throughout uh, the rest of the year. Always good seeing you guys. Real quick, rapid fire, a band that you could see three albums in the entirety. Who would you want to see? Wait, three albums in their yeah, entirety? Yeah, so say you might something to the first three albums, so it's like thirty something songs. Yeah, yeah. Back to back, back, all in one night. Who would you want to see for three you albums? One, you want to go back? Oh, you, you can go first. Okay, uh, I would like to see, um, there's a few. I, the first one that comes to mind is I would love to see Drive Like Jay who do Yank Crime front to back because there's nothing to skip on that one. That'd be nice. Um, These are the tough questions. This is good. Yeah, I'm trying to think classic records. Four Minute Mile would be killer. I would no, personally love to see that no, one. No, but you have to see a band do three oh, albums. Three. So it's 30 something songs. So what band would you want to see? Oh, so oh. this is the same band? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Drive the Day only has two records, so 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 they're okay. Oh, wow, this is a, this is like, I'm on I, the, I guess I have to go with like Radiohead. You could do OK Computer, Kid A, and uh, and In Rainbows, but that's just me. That's just my taste. Jimmy World would be great, right? Yeah. So first three there, I think would be killer. I did not mean to put you guys on the spot. I feel like I just took it to the next level. Ooh, it's all. It's, it can only get better from here, right? Just breathe. Just breathe it out. Okay. Listen, they are the hey, starting cool. line. <laughs> Um, listen, check them out, obviously. Always good seeing you guys. You Love you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for being homies throughout the years and all of that. And this is One on Guns, Alternative Press. Yes, yes, yes. Stoked to see them later today on the Vans Warped Tour 25th anniversary. And of course, later this year, the starring line. Boom. Uh.